Hi, welcome to another H2 video. Today, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create VMs using Cockpit on CentOS Linux. Um, today, I'm running CentOS 8. This is the so Cockpit overview screen, and you'll see you have your Virtual Machines tab right here if you have um, Libvirt or something like that installed. Uh, so once you're in that uh, tab, you're going to go ahead and click Create VM. You're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Test VM. And there's a few different ways you can actually do the installation. You can go ahead and have it download the OS for you from one of the mirrors. Uh, you can do a local install using local media if you have that, or you can give it a URL if you know the URL of the mirror that you wanna install it from. Uh, you could also do Pixie Boot. Uh, it's probably not something you're commonly gonna do at home or in a home lab, but it is an option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose download an OS. And then I'm just gonna choose CentOS 7 because it uses a tiny bit less resources or it allows me to uh, allocate like one gig as opposed to two gigs if I chose CentOS 08. Uh, but go ahead and choose whatever flavor of Linux you decided that you wanna use. Um, I'm gonna have it create a new volume for me. I'll go ahead and do another video later on that show talks about volumes, um, what they are, how to use them, um, how to get create them, uh, things like that. But I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and have it create a new one for me. Um, I'm going to give it 20 gigs of memory, or sorry, I'm going to give it 20 gigs of hard drive space and one gig of memory. You can go ahead and have this checkbox down here where it says immediately start VM. You can leave that um, unchecked if you don't want it to start right away. Um, I want it to start away right away, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it checked. And then you can go ahead and press create. We're going to give that a minute. It's going to take just a minute to get created and spun up. Okay, as it spins up, uh, you'll see this little console window pop up. It shows you the opening sequence as it's starting up. Uh, you also have your tabs up here at the top, your network interfaces. Uh, it shows you the bridge that you have attached to it, a MAC address. You have disks, it'll show you all your disks. Usage will show you how much memory and how many vCPUs you've used. And the overview will give you an overview as well. There's also this auto start checkbox right here. Uh, what that does is if the actual host that's hosting your VM uh, were to restart, if it's unchecked by default. So if that machine restarts, your test VM that you created here won't start automatically. If you want it to do that, you can go ahead and check that, and then this test VM will boot up every time your, your Linux host boots. Um, that just truly really depends on how you want that to work. I'm going to go ahead and check it. Uh, I like that to happen, so I don't have to worry about anything being down. If it's non-critical test VM like this, you could probably leave it unchecked. It won't really matter. I'll go ahead and go back into the console here. You can see it's continuing to do its thing. So even when you're somewhere else, your VM continues to run and continues to do whatever it is you've left it doing. Um, I will go ahead and create another video. So that's pretty much all there is to actually spinning up a VM using Cockpit. I'll create another video that shows you how to do um, an actual Linux install um, I'll probably do another one for storage as well. Uh, thank you for tuning in today and you guys have a great day.